All the earth shall bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to you, shall sing to your name, O Most High. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. So welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. Today we offer this Mass for Jan Mullen and Barbara Muzinik. And with all our intentions for ourselves and for our families and loved ones and all those who are asking our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us again remember our sins our failures, and our weaknesses. Asking the Lord's mercy and forgiveness, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, Mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Melchizedek, king of Salem and priest of God Most High, met Abraham as he returned from his defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham apportioned to him a tenth of everything. His first name first means righteous king, and he was also king of Salem, that is, king of peace. Without father, mother, or ancestry, without beginning of the days or end of the life, thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. It is even more obvious if another priest is raised up from the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become so not by law expressed in a command, meant concerning physical descent, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it is testified, you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my lords, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. For in the line of Melchizedek, the scepter of your power, the Lord will stretch forth from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. You are you in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is a princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor. Before the day star, look the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Alleluia. 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 Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. He just said to the synagogue, there's a man there with a withered hand, and they watched him closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, come up here before me. He said to the Pharisees, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than do evil? To save life rather than to destroy it? They remained silent, looking around at them with anger. He grieved at their hardness of heart. He said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched out his hand and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So good morning, my brothers and sisters. If you are following the reading since the other day, yesterday, we heard Jesus saying to the people, Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. So this is only to show that uh, Jesus gives more importance to life, give more importance to people, give more importance to a person. So the question is, when we are making rules for ourselves, for other people, for our, fam for our family, for our household, for our community, what is our preference? What is our main objective? Sometimes we are so strict to ourselves maybe and to other people. But it's very clear Sabbath was made for man, for man and that man for Sabbath. Laws are being made, rules are being made to facilitate our life. For us to become more alive, for us to experience more what life is all about and what life should be. Rules should make us smile all the more, should bring joy to our hearts, should make life easy to carry and not burdensome. I could, uh, I could uh, share an experience many years ago. You know? There was this group of uh, religious. You know? They are religious. And they were so strict as their life became so stiff that they could no longer smile. As if there is no more life in them but nervousness. As if every move they make is always being counted. As if you are walking on the ropes. And there was an instance when somebody was knocking at their door asking for help. And maybe that person is dying already. But since it is not allowed in a, with a certain rule they made to attend to the person right away because they are doing something else until the person became or was became in, in danger, became in that kind of uh, situation where his life was already in danger, but nobody moves. 
And I think this is what the Lord is trying to tell us. Life is more important. And, and people are more important and persons are more important. How do we conduct ourselves in our life among ourselves in the community or in our household? Do we make everyone easy to carry? Sometimes there are some people who could not move just because you are there. Just your mere presence bring them bring them burdens. Sometimes we have so many things we want to happen. Yes, it may be very organized. Maybe it may be very uh, in accordance to the rules you made, but the people are dying. And Jesus is, is, stressing, is trying to stress this. In today's gospel, you have heard how he cured someone with a withered hand on the Sabbath. Because during Sabbath, you cannot lift a finger. I remember when I, was, when I went to Israel, and they said the Orthodox uh, Jews, no? when they entered uh, an elevator or lift, they will not push the button. Because it's not allowed. No? So they will ask you, can you push the button for me? No? And when they cook, on, during Sabbath, they will see to it that it will be cooked on the very time that it's okay to eat. So they will cook it before the Sabbath. And they will tie, uh, they will, uh, there is a timer, no? Maybe in a very low or medium heat. Just not to lift anything. So that's the, 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 uh, the, how they do it in the Sabbath. And even more during the time of Jesus. And now we heard, Jesus, we heard in the gospel, Jesus saved a, a man with a withered hand. And so he asked the people, which is more lawful? To save someone or to destroy life or to destroy it. Life is more important. So when we find that it's no longer self-serving or it's no longer life-serving, it's no longer serving us, then I always believe we must do some amendments. We must be, we should be, become so a little flexible. Rules are made to facilitate our life, not to enslave us. If, there, if they need some changes or amendments, we should do so. For the good of the community, for the good of everyone, for the good of our household and our family members. Remember the word of Jesus? Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. May our ways, our life, whatever we are doing, may, we, may it always become life-giving and not putting people to death. Amen. So once again, we live up to God all our needs, especially for the church, that she may remain faithful and become loyal to the teachings of Jesus, that she may always become an instrument, an agent of bringing life to everyone through the life that, of, of the, of, that Jesus gave her. And so we pray for our Pope Francis, our Bishop Salvatore and all the bishops and priests, our pastor, Father Michael, and all those who are serving in the church, that truly they may serve for the good of everyone, that everyone should always become joyful and alive. We pray to the Lord.
for our government leaders, especially in this country and this state, that they may truly serve the need of all, especially those who are struggling in life, those who are poor, those who are sick and uh, victims of violence and these calamities, and also for the homeless, that they may always serve with justice and in fairness. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our Paris community that we may truly grow in our faith and in our relationship with one another, that we may truly serve one another with love and care that we could give, that we may truly become an alive community. We pray to the Lord. And for ourselves, for all of us gathered here, that we may truly be touched by the Lord and that we may always experience life in its fullness. We pray to the Lord. And now we pray also for the intentions we have today for Jan Mullen and Barbara Muzinik. And we could also pray for our own intentions, whatever it is. And I wish to pray also for those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially for Dr. Candice Tupas and for Dr. Clarissa and Maris Arau. We pray to the Lord. You may now express whatever intentions you have in your heart. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for peace in the world and for the people of Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, these are our prayers and petitions that we are lifting up to you, believing that you will always grant them. In the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity Christ who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we are you to receive us and be sacrificed to your human heaven and cool right heart. You could be sickness from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate mortally in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself. So that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by this same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Pope Francis, our Bishop Salvador Cordo de Leon, the Order of Bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Especially to our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleased you with the passing of this life, glory, and give kind admittance to your kingdom. May we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you, other passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. 
Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now as one family of God at the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church and this people gathered here before you, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the good Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. 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 <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. In the seeming of your body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
we have come to know and to believe in the love that God has for us. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we are happy to welcome Father Brian back to our rectory. No? He, he fell the other day or the other night and he was brought to the hospital yesterday and had his nine stitches on the head. <laughs> but he's fine now. So we pray for him. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in the peace of the Lord and live fully our Christian faith. Have a great day to all of you.